What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video. In today's video, yes, it's a Supra video. I know you guys absolutely want to see the Supra content. I already started reaching out to Burger Tuning and Keys Motorsports. So we're gonna get some stuff on this car, even Azza Auto Wheel. So yes, guys, we got a bunch of modifications already coming in for this car, which is kind of crazy because we haven't even got a legal registered or anything like that, but I have high hopes for this thing. And I just cannot wait to take it out for its first drive. Maybe take it out for its first drive, get some temporary moving permits and all that good stuff. Once we actually just get the seatbelt, so I reached out to LMD Solutions and they said they're gonna be finishing with the seatbelts in about five minutes. So we're gonna be heading down right now to pick up those two seatbelts. Um, I am gonna be disconnecting the airbag sensor just in case it's kind of like flopping around because if we're driving and that sensor flops around, the current airbags will deploy again, possibly even the driver's steering wheel airbag. And uh, while I'm driving, it'll probably will cause an accident. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that sensor. And by doing that, it's gonna still throw the airbag light, but at least we have the seatbelts in there. So for any reason, hopefully that will never happen. But for any reason we get into an accident, the airbags won't deploy, but at least the seatbelts keep me in my seat. So that's important. I don't want the airbags to just randomly blow off while I'm driving. Obviously, we'll replace that sensor once we get all this stuff fixed up. But we want to drive it down to the body shop and get booked on a schedule. Because you guys know with the E92 M3, the frame thing, um, it took us about like three weeks to get an appointment. So we made an appointment. Three weeks later, we brought it in. They finished in one day. So super nice. I want to drive this down to him. He needs to diagnose the damages. Tell me exactly what I need. So when the time comes for us, we know whether or not to bring a quarter panel with us or not. Um, so when our appointment comes up, we can bring the door. We have the side skirt. It came in right there. And then possibly a quarter panel possibly not because honestly guys we might be able to salvage this one and I say salvage it not to be cheap I don't know if you guys can see it again this thing is straight from the bottom it is straight the only thing that's bent is because the door pushed it in and it pushed in the lightest piece of metal to the inside of the car so all that stuff might be able to just get pulled out and we might be all gravy in the navy again this is all assumptions I have no idea I guess we'll find out once we take it to the body shop but we'll do that hopefully in the next video this video let's head out to LD solutions pick up our seat belts install them it's gonna look so 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 good and at least Let's get this thing ready for its first drive. So we just got the seatbelts from LD Solutions. They did an insane job. So both seatbelts, well, one of the seatbelts are perfectly fine, which was the passenger side. The driver's side had to get fully rebuilt. Uh, basically, two of the igniters were diffused. Um, so they rebuilt two of the diffusers on that, and then at the same time, uh, they uh, put yellow seatbelts on there, which I think looks super sick. So hopefully we're gonna get home and install that. But right before we do that, let's swing around my DMV place real quick, just because I need to see what's going on with my pink slip, guys. I haven't even got my title for my M3 yet, and it's been like, it's been some time now. So we're gonna swing by check out what's going on with that and then we'll head home and install those belts again shout out to LNG solutions you shout out to them honestly the belts look so 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 good and it's gonna make the car look so much better with those details but yeah without further ado i'll catch y'all when we're at the dmv so i just got out of the dmv just now i'm sorry for not actually showing you guys that clip but i went in there and i was like hey guys what's going on with the title i'm hoping everything's great in the navy was it sent to my old address they said no um it does look like your current address is on here uh the only issue is the fact that they just now approved the mileage correction because uh, for some reason i think i accidentally wrote on the title that the car had 370,000 miles instead of 37,000 miles or something like that uh so yeah it, it was really messed up and i guess the dmv just recently approved the correction um, um, so the title is now just being sent out. So uh, thankfully, we are still getting the title. The mileage, everything got corrected. So we're just waiting on that title. This is just an update because it's been something that's been bothering me for so long. I'm like, what's going on? Because hopefully the car doesn't have 370,000 miles. That'd be crazy. But anyways, everything's been checked out. Everything's gravy in the Navy. We're just waiting on that. So without further ado, let's go home so we can install these Supra seatbelts. That is something I'm super stoked for. And just like that, guys, we are officially back home. Like I said, guys, we have the sights good right here. I'm not gonna install this just yet, obviously. Uh, we need to get this thing diagnosed at the shop and hopefully i want that to be the next video i can't leave you guys hanging for too long i'm gonna go ahead and install both seat belts we are gonna have to uninstall this seat eventually and probably have to uninstall this seat belt anyways because uh we want them to be able to diagnose and pull and do everything you need to do that seat's gonna get in the way but in the meantime for its first drive i want you guys to actually see it i want you guys to experience it from the inside from the outside let's go ahead and throw on both seat belts i have my wife recording as to take it on his first rip and truly enjoy the b58 for what it is <laughs> i am so hyped at least just take it down the block it back i do have one moving permit so without further ado uh i don't know which one's which but let's go ahead and start unraveling these i mean just check it out guys just check this out that's gonna look so good in the interior Now, the first 
first side I want to do is the driver's side. So let's go ahead and get that bad boy in there. Just like that, guys, we have both yellow seatbelts in the car, and they look so, so, so good. Now, obviously, it's still missing a bunch of the trim pieces. I'm not going to put that on. The body shop needs to reference that side and this side to get this side 100% lined up properly. But now we have both seatbelts connected. Basically, we would have no airbag light, but that's going to be an issue. So I disconnected this sensor right down here. Uh, this is the sensor that connects to the crash sensor on this quarter panel. This, the sensor honestly looks fine, but just to be safe, again, I don't want that sensor being finicky and then accidentally deploying all these new airbags and the seat buckles that we just installed. That would absolutely suck. So we'll go ahead and get that thing reconnected and replace the sensor once the stuff gets repaired. But in the meantime, guys, it is ready for its first spin, guys. It is ready for us to just take it down the block and back. Let me just go ahead and fill out that daily moving permit that I got and then we can take it down the block and back. So guys, the moment we all been waiting for, the first pull in the Supra 3.0 B58. Alright guys, this thing is so fast. Hold up, hold up. I cannot believe I like B58s are honestly the new N54. Like it is crazy. Check this out. <laughs> Isn't that so fast? Bro, I almost lost the rear end. Like, do you feel how fast that is? Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right, guys. That's honestly as much as we can do today. I need to put this on my insurance. I need to, uh, what's it called? Get the registration and everything because obviously we don't have, uh, like we have one day registration. So I got to get it on one day registration. I got to get it on the insurance. And then we're going to be driving this thing down to the body shop. Hopefully in the next video, guys. Hopefully in the next video. Next video of the Supra at least. Reason being is because today is Friday and uh, yeah, the body shop literally closes in about like 15 minutes. So once the body shop closes, it's not going to be open until Monday. So the next video of this car, guys, we're going to be head down to the body shop. It's first like real drive on the freeway. Uh, but I mean, that did really good. Like, isn't that fast? It was beautiful. It drives so perfectly, guys. Obviously, we would have no lights on the dash right now. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously, we do have lights on the dash because I disconnected the uh, airbag sensor. We don't want any airbags deploying. Just better safe than sorry. We're taking our precautions. But we got our belts rebuilt by LD Solutions, and uh, we're safe and we're loaded. Isn't it look so sick? Besides, besides this, besides this. So this is a little bit of a situation. I don't know why it's like facing the other way. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the seatbelt on properly. So yeah, it's on properly. This side's a little off. The side on my wife's side is perfectly fine. So um, I'm assuming uh, this just is, I don't know what's going on with that. It's just like stitching. Like, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but like the belt oh, wait, is like I one piece. On my too. Oh, you have it on the outside too? Yeah. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. We sound kind of ignorant now if it was... Well, my bad. I don't know. Guys, let me know down below. Is this normal? Because if you look at it, like, isn't the belt one piece? It's one piece, right? Yeah, but it's, but like, like, stitched. Like, whatever this is. I don't know. Maybe... It oh. looks like a cute bow. Like, I wouldn't mind on my oh, but, <laughs> but maybe, it's, maybe it's a bow. Who knows? I don't know, guys. Yeah, know, double, check, double check. Yeah, I don't know. know. Well, you guys let me know also. Because I'm, I'm not a really professional when it comes to this. But, oh, this feels so nice. That clean title, brand new belt. Shit!
Sheesh. All right, guys. That's going to have to unfortunately conclude this video. It is a shorter video. The next video is probably going to be with the 328. We're going to try to get some new meat on that car. Um, the tires are kind of worn out, as you guys saw when we actually uh, replaced the brake fluids. We need some new meat on that car. Um, probably also if you're going to do some more maintenance on that thing. So hopefully that's going to be getting done in the next video. Um, I actually have some crazy plans for that thing. I don't know if I'm going to do it anytime soon, but we have some crazy plans. That's why I always want to get an E92, and uh, it's not normal. It's not normal. That's all I'm saying. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Make sure to smash the like button if you guys uh, want to see more super content. Hopefully, again, next video, Body Shop, we'll know all the news. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.